Hello, my name is Kevin Brown uh, with Moorhead State University, and uh, I'm going to be talking to you about the subsystems of CXB in here and showing you a little bit of detail on the inside of the bus. We have one of our engineering models here, uh, all hidden away by different parts, but uh, the bottom of the satellite has the main power system, followed by the batteries, the radio, the CNDH, or Command and Data Handling Processor, the payload sits up here, which you can listen to Ben Malfer's on, describing on another segment. And on the back of the payload sits a portion of the radio system back here. And then on the very top of the satellite, here's one of our other engineering models, is the antenna system itself. On the bottom of the satellite exists this small, highly integrated board. This is one of the test units that we did at the very beginning, where we found all kinds of bugs. Um, but it sits integrated into the base of the satellite uh, so that it can dissipate heat out the back end of the satellite. The back end of the satellite is a flat aluminum surface that radiates into deep space. Uh, so on the back of the power system, uh, there are shunts which consume energy uh, and dissipate it away from the battery system. So it regulates the battery through shunt regulation. And then on the front side, uh, we have different regulators, different uh, plugs for going to the different subsystems. We have external charging and also data. Um, and as most people are aware of CubeSats, you have deployment feet and deployment switches to sense when you're outside the launcher. One in series, uh, four parallel batteries. These are the same sort of lithium ion 18650 cells, which you find in just about every laptop battery pack that you've purchased nowadays. The radio is a Astrodev lithium uh, radio, and so it's a UHF frequency at 437.525 megahertz. Uh, it's half duplex and X.25 compliant, so a lot of hams will recognize all of that stuff. Uh, it's 9600 bits per second downlink and uplink. Uh, it interfaces to the CMDH command and data handling board, uh, which is a MSP430 uh, 5436A processor and it has its own internal flash or external flash. It can be programmed from the outside and it has an IMU on its board for sensing the magnetic field of the Earth and also the uh, angular rate of the satellite. Uh, as you can see, there's a whole bunch of interfacing over here. This is actually for the three magnet torquers on board. Uh, each of them are wound up uh, air coil wise, uh, so it's just a bunch of copper wire. Uh, put around a spool and it generates the magnetic field which kind of orients the satellite kind of like a needle in, uh, in a compass while it's up in orbit. Um, but there are three of these, one for each axis and uh, you can uh, orient yourself and in the case of CXPN, as soon as it's stabilized after deployment, it then spins itself up while pointing at the sun. Uh, to point at the sun and to know when you are pointing at the sun, it has this handy sun sensor uh, what it has is a, a medium field of view and fine field of view. Uh, so this is about a 30 degree sensing angle and this is about 15. Uh, so there are photodiodes inside of here which uh, are illuminated. There's four quadrants to each of them and it tells you which way to move. Um, once you spin up, the magnet workers take over and uh, maintain the stabilized spin. So uh, when you uh, begin spinning, you get some angular uh, position ambiguity uh, when you start integrated gyros, integrated gyros. So you need a more of an absolute position uh, sensor, which is the uh, star pepper. The star pepper is a, another photodiode array, which is hypersensitive to starlight, of course, uh, and it is a rate detector. So what it does is kind of like a positioning encoder on a wheel. It will exhibit a pulse whenever something transits its field of view. Uh, so if it transit, transits the field of view of, let's say, let's say the moon goes through the field of view, uh, it will edge detect the moon rather than just a uh, continuous signal. Okay, so uh, that is all the way up to this level. Uh, the payload is in a different video segment, but on the back of the payload, in order to get everything to fit in, was the main phasing network for CXPN. Uh, it took um, the UHF input 
and uh, split it out to the four antenna elements on the satellite. Uh, each one of the blades is phased 90 degrees from the other, so it's a circular polarized system. And uh, it's uh, pretty straightforward after that. Uh, circular polarized, and then you have a circular polarized antenna on the ground, and you can talk to the satellite. So the four panels are held together across a, um, a nichrome wire, which cuts the fishing line and deploys the panels. Each of the panels are spring-loaded to be 90 degrees to the body. And that is pretty much at the end of each of the subsystems.